Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArclaTexHomePage.com. You can see a weak front to our north, which is gradually going to ease its way across the area during the night tonight and uh, could squeeze out a few showers and definitely will uh, increase the clouds across the area. Uh, the best chance of rain will be across the northern edge of the Arklatex, as you'll see here in a second with uh, Futurecast. In the meantime, uh, temperatures tonight will not be as cool because of the increase in clouds as we're looking at lows that will dip down into the low to middle 50s, right around 54 in both Shreveport as well as in Texarkana, 52 degrees for the nighttime low in, Texarkana, or in uh, Natchitoches where the clouds arrive a bit later. Tomorrow, looking at the clouds gradually moving out where they move out sooner, it definitely will be warmer. 79 tomorrow in both Manny and Natchitoches, 76 in Shreveport, 70 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana. Here's a look at Robbins Toyota Futurecast as we move through the weekend and you can see the effects of the front as clouds will be on the increase late tonight across the area. Notice a little bit of rain across the northern sections of the area, which will uh, wrap up as we go through the morning. Clouds will gradually decrease during the day from south to north, and the northern tier of counties across the area very well could stay cloudy pretty much all day, hence a little bit cooler temperatures uh, for that part of the area for tomorrow. Now, going through tomorrow night, we'll see the clouds once again return, possibility for a few scattered showers over the northwest half of the area uh, late tomorrow night into Saturday morning, and we'll see that chance for the scattered showers Saturday day uh, as uh, again a cold front approaches the second frontal system notice the south wind which will uh, warm us up and we will see a few peaks of sunshine Saturday as well across the area and then heading into uh, Saturday night we'll be watching that cold front which is going to move in switch you over to the longer range version of Futurecast and you'll clearly see the front moving through notice by Sunday morning all the rain pretty much south of the Arklatex and we'll see lots of sunshine for most of the area to begin Sunday and more than likely that sunshine will stick around as we go through the rest of the day as we'll see a breezy north to northeasterly wind across the region and because of that a, a little bit of a cool down after high Saturday in the mid to upper 70s we'll see high Sunday in the upper 60s to lower 70s and we'll stay pretty close to normal for highs uh, for the begin beginning of next week. Now moving through the rest of next week this is what we're looking at you can see that uh, here's the disturbance which will give us a chance for some rain here for uh, Saturday. Once that clears we'll be watching upper level high pressure which will skirt across the southern sections of the country during next week and that will provide us with a uh, uh, end of the week warm up as temperatures again will be well into the 70s by the end of next week. Notice another disturbance approaching the west coast by Thursday. That is in line to bring us another chance of rain towards the end of next weekend. As far as rainfalls something I didn't cover here with this uh, couple of fronts coming through. Not really looking at a whole lot. Most of the Arkletex, in fact all of the Arkletex, probably will receive less than a quarter of an inch. And one thing to uh, point out to you is that uh, we have seen uh, some dry weather here for the past almost a couple of months now and as a result we are beginning to see drought conditions develop across uh, much of the Oracle text. You can see the latest uh, drought monitor uh, showing you that uh, we do have uh, again moderate drought which is developing over much of east and northeast Texas. And I did uh, uh, produce a page on our website uh, that will be linked within this article uh, called Drought Watch which uh, gives you the latest drought monitor which updates once a week. It also provides you with the latest uh, comparison of the last month's rain compared to normal, the last year's rain compared to normal, and uh, more detailed information on rainfall for both Texture Canning again uh, and Shreveport. And again that's available on our website with the link that you will see posted below. In the meantime, take a look at your seven-day forecast. Our dry weather pattern will continue, as uh, you can see that uh, we'll see that chance for the rain Saturday, Saturday night. Sunday looking dry, and we'll be dry all of next week. You can see highs eventually settling into the upper 70, 60s to low 70s. Lows will settle into the upper 30s to low 40s. We should return to the mid to eventually upper 70s by the end of next week.